Hi everybody, welcome to Two Passions Fishing. Uh, we're gonna tie a drop shot rig. And I'm out here in a beautiful fall day in the St. Joseph River in the green way path here on the St. Joe, Indiana. Um, I'm gonna show you the hooks that I like to use, that I use a lot. It's the number one Shaw Grisby hook. I like to use the number one hook. I think the number one hook's probably the best. It's a drop shot hook. And also for the weight, see I put the weight on. It's a drop shot weight. It's got a little line hook uh, clip on the top. Uh, you don't have to tie it, but I'll show you here on the video. And that being an eighth of an ounce as well. I like the eighth of an ounce. It's just best, uh, best weight for pretty much any condition. Well, I can't say any condition. Uh, it depends on the uh, the wind and the current. I don't like to use any more than probably a quarter of an ounce of weight. Eighth of an ounce might go for pretty much for the drop shot for anywhere I go. Uh, so let's go ahead and tie this. Now this line here is, oh, I've seen something over there. Hopefully be able to see this in the video. I got the sun in my face. And I purposely did that, so hopefully it'll bring a lot of light to this. Uh, this line here will lead to my rod and my uh, reel. So what I like to do, face this, hook this way, and I like to put the line right here. First off, sunlight in my eyes. So I'm going to have to redo this video. I don't know. <laughs> I'm outside. It's windy. I didn't pick a good, you know, probably a good uh, location maybe. I love I love being outside doing my stuff. But, but yeah, I want to give enough line right here because you're going to put a weight in the end of it and you're going to use up some, some of the line for the palm or not. So now you got that through. Now you want to bring this line back through back side of the hook back into the hole there we go I, think I got it okay it's gonna be a loop it's gonna be a loop right behind this hook so what you want to do I'll twist it around here you're just gonna do a Over knot like this, like you're tying your shoe. You get a hold of that loop, just like that. You want to make sure it's above that hook. You don't want to get it inside all the that gap in that hook, that line. So make sure it's right above it. So now you want to take that loop, run it in front of the hook. I get it through there with my chubby fingers and then you want to pull it tight you can hold the line there pull it tight that's a palm or not pull it tight there you go now you want to take that line that's loose right here your tag in and you want to run it right on top right back through this will this will put the weight as the weights on here this will prevent the hook or keep the hook straight up right on top right through the hole there, there go line out of there. As you can see the hook is straight out. Perfect. It's right where you want it. I'll make more videos of this too so it's not going to be the only video of tying knots for my channel. I'll probably do be doing a lot of these. So I'll take a weight out. I got a little extra long so I'm gonna bring the weight. I like to have it probably from the hook. I like to probably have it like, uh, eh, probably about, 
Yeah, about 12, 14 inches from the hook. So now this is the drop shot weight. You can uh, over, like, shoe tie this if you want. Overlap it, but I, I usually don't do that. I just put it through there. Because it's got a line clip on top, and it snugs it up pretty tight. You just pull it up. It's already snug on there. And I like these weights because when you get snagged up, and you got an expensive plastic on the end of this hook, um, you don't want to lose it, get hung up. This is probably the first thing a lot of times hung up. So if you uh, end up using a regular weight, uh, uh, bank sinker or, or uh, any kind of weight that you have to like tie a knot to, what's gonna happen, you're gonna end up losing everything, all your gear, your plastic. So this will help if you just, uh, it's got a line clip on it, so if this gets snagged up, it'll break free, you get all your other more expensive stuff. So, okay. so here you go. This is what it'll look like in the water. So if this sits in the water, your hook is straight out. This is an amazing uh, setup uh, for any kind, any type of fish in walleye, bass, uh, any kind of fish, crappie, bluegill. So let's get rigged up. Put some bait on it. It's got to be some fish. All right, let's see out there. And always remember, always trust Christ for life.